Oh yeah, it's a um, uh, another little uh, extra post for day seventeen post op. A couple of little things I've been thinking about, which I thought I'll put in now before I forget for before tomorrow's or the next ones. Like uh, just around the the recent improvement on my breathing and then therefore the sleeping. Um, I I've been getting um, before I went to bed last two nights. Uh, my missus and daughter have been uh, kind enough to be giving me a massage around me shoulders traps um uh around me around my neck uh and that which had previously been all been very tight um but more to the point i was feeling is that with all of the breathing problems seem to stem from the diaphragm the nervous feed for the diaphragm comes uh, from the cervical spine, i.e. your neck. Uh, at vertebrae 3, 4 and 5. Uh, I think also a, a lot of the, um, the, the lung nervous uh, feed comes from there as well. And I was of the mind that the tightness and a bit of pain I was feeling in the neck um, could well have been linked to that. Um, still nothing definitive. But straight away after both of those massages, I could feel a, an improvement in both my breathing and how I feel that bit more relaxed around my diaphragm. And you know, and that's that's carried over. Uh, also, I had a, a session with an osteopath today, uh, and whilst he was doing a, a release on my thoracic spine, um, he did put a bit of pressure on the head, which caused a little tweak on. Um, on the cervical vertebrae, and then straight away, I kicked in with um, a, a cough, which seemed to be led from the, the diaphragm. You know, as if he just unsettled or pinched that area that was previously um, under a bit of tension, stroke pressure, and potentially creating the the hiccuping or the you know uh, the pain in the ass around the breathing. Uh, that that still stayed stabilised, so I'm hoping for another night's sleep tonight. But I thought I'd. Um, and put that in because um, uh, certainly it was, um, you know, one of the, the, the most most of the, the annoying problems. At the end of the day, it's not it's going to kill you, like, um, or, or potentially as big as some of the is other issues which have presented and been dealt with. But uh, you know, it, 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 was, it was certainly the the one that was that was most pressing, so to speak. Um, also, another one is on Sunday. Uh, today's Tuesday, so that would have been day 15 post op. Um, I tried to do a toe touch. Uh, pre op was the previous time I'd uh, both tested and completed a toe touch, and I was fine. Um, doing the toe touch yesterday, uh, I was I was a bus ride off. Um, I started doing some correctives. For, for that, uh, you know, because contrary to, to popular belief, toe touch um, or loss of toe touch is almost never to do with a, a short uh, um, or short hamstrings. Uh, it's always to do with um, your stability and control around your hips. And if you don't have an authentic stability pattern, then the hamstrings fire to stop your face planting when you touch your toes. And so it feels like they're tight because they are tight, but the reason they're tight is not because they're short, it's because they're firing when they shouldn't be, firing to stabilize, that is. Anyway, uh, didn't have the, um, the toe touch pattern, uh, and that was on a, a fairly wide stance. Um, I did some correctives for that. Um, started to do some of the standard Grey Cook toe, toe touch um, correctives, and I, I didn't have the stability or control to go through with them, uh, but just the single leg raise corrective that I did uh, seems to have done the trick, and I could toe touch on that wider stance. Uh, yesterday and today I've been concentrating on um, trying to improve a more narrow stance. I can now stand vertical with my um, toes and ankles together, which uh, I was unable to achieve pre-op, so that's a that's a first within my recovery cycle. Uh, and I'm going to start looking to see if I can do a toe touch uh, with them both together as well. At the minute, I'll just fall over to the left. Um, again, a little bit of work on 
that um, left hip stabilization should sort that out anyway that's uh, that's your bonus post for today see ya